All right, we are ready to go over experiment number five, uh, which is the Gymnema T. All right, so uh, once I finish this, when you click here, you will get the video guide, but I'm literally making the video right now, so I can't click to it. So your materials for this one are gonna be your Gymnema tea bag. You're gonna need salt. You're gonna have um, a type of candy. So for this one, I'm just gonna use Skittles, um, whichever one you get in your bag. You might have like um, gummy bears, you might have Twizzlers, Starburst, Nerds, whatever you have, or you can use something else. Um, and then you're gonna have uh, the lemon, and then you are going to need from home um, a mug, okay, uh, and some water, right? No, the effects on taste of gymnema tea usually last around an hour, so take this into account when choosing a time to do this. So again, not right before you're about to eat. So let's read through the directions and then let's go through it. So heat up about a cup of water. It does not need to be to boiling. Usually I just use the microwave and then depending on um, your microwave, um, usually I heat mine for somewhere between one and two minutes. I just want it to get really warm. Put the hot water in a mug. So when I use the microwave, I can just put the water in the mug and throw it in the microwave together. Open the, open the Gymnema tea bag. So you're gonna open it up and place it in the mug with the hot water. So um, like that. I'll let it sit for at least five minutes. While you're waiting, taste a small amount of each item in this order, salt, candy, lemon. You may drink water only in between tastes. So again, you're gonna wanna have your water bottle. Once the tea is cool enough to drink, fill the one ounce plastic cup. So that was this one. Um, uh, with the tea, swish the tea in your mouth for 30 seconds, kind of like you're using mouthwash. Try to coat all of the areas of your mouth with the tea. Um, you can spit the tea in the sink when finished. You can drink it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just most people don't particularly like the taste of it. Um, but there's nothing wrong with drinking it. Um, and then you can, if you want, take a sip of water, rinse your mouth with water, and then wait a minute. And then you're going to taste them again in the same order. Salt, candy, lemon, you may drink water only in between the tastes. And then you're going to answer two questions. What taste changed after drinking the Gymnema tea? And then go to that site. You're going to click on that link and read about the section that says, how does Gymnema um, Silvestre work? And then explain how this actually works. So again, I already heated my um, water in um, the microwave. And then you're going to, again, open up that tea bag. Okay, and put the tea bag in the mug of water. Um, you can do this um, once it's sitting in there for a little bit, just to make sure um, the um, leaves, the you know, everything is coming out um, into the water and not just staying close to the tea bag. So, and then I'm just letting it sit for at least five minutes, but I want it to just get cool enough to drink. So while I'm waiting for that to finish, and I already did a little bit of that ahead of time, I'm gonna get the other stuff ready. So what I'm using actually, I open up the tea bag, so I have this paper. I'm gonna get my things ready. So I have my salt. I'm gonna open the salt. I'm gonna put some on, right on that little um, Gymnema um, tea paper on the inside. And then the candy. So again, for this one, um, I got Skittles in my package, so I'm gonna open those so they're ready. And then the lemon, again, this packet, okay. And I'm going to open that. And these are crystals, not liquid. So which is why um, inside of this, um, the tea bag, the paper actually works really well. So I'm going to open it and pour some of that on the paper. Okay, so now I'm going to taste them in order. Again, I just washed my hands so they are clean because uh, I'm going to do it that way. You can just um, moisten a spoon, um, some other way that works for you. So I'm going to taste each of them in order. Salt. No, tastes salty. Oh, I think it took a little bit too much. It was extra salty. All right, I'm gonna eat one of my Skittles. I'm gonna pick, remember this is science, so same flavor. So um, I have some purple ones in here. So I'm gonna use purple. I'm gonna set the rest aside because I'm not gonna use them. So I'm gonna take the purple. Yep. There is that Skittles taste. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the lemon. So salt, candy.
candy lemon. Okay, sour. All right. Now, here's what I recommend. So I'm going to fill this cup. Now, it doesn't literally have to be completely 100% to the top. So I'm just going to dip that right in there. See? Get about that much um, tea. Okay. Um, I have a napkin handy, so I'm just going to wipe off that outside. All right. And again, you're going to want to make sure this is cool enough to drink. So if it feels too warm in your hand, uh, don't use it. Wait a little longer. Okay. Um, if you're impatient, you can always add an ice cube to kind of cool it down. That'll kind of speed along the process. So this feels a little warm to me, so I'm just going to... Okay. It's actually fine. All right. So I'm going to do this. Put this in my mouth. I'm going to swish it around for about 30 seconds. Again, like I'm using mouthwash, trying to coat all the areas inside my mouth with the tea. I don't mind the taste of it, so I'm just going to drink it. If you don't like the taste of it, just you can spit it back into this little cup, spit it into the sink, something like that. Then you can take a drink of water afterward if you want to, and then wait a minute before we go on. So I'm just going to do this. Okay, I didn't show you my whole swishing, but again, I don't mind the taste of it, so there's something wrong with drinking it, so you can absolutely drink it, but you don't have to. I don't need to rinse my mouth afterward because, I, again, I don't mind the taste of it. If you do, just have a quick drink of water, and then we're going to wait a minute, so I'm going to wait my minute, and I'm going to come back and um, do the retasting, so... Okay, I waited slightly longer in a minute, but I was trying to finish an email. So now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to taste those items in the same order. Salt. So again, I just rewash my hands. So send an email, rewash my hands. Here we are. I'm good. So I'm going to taste the salt. Yep. Still salty. All right. Remember, I picked a color. Science consistency, right? So I'm using purple Skittle again because I don't want to change the flavor. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, let me taste lemon. Okay. Yep, lemon. And then we're going to answer these two questions. What taste changed after drinking the Jiminy tea? And then again, go to this site, read just this section. There's a lot of other information. Want to read more? Perfect. Go ahead. Bonus. Um, you'll learn more. But just answer this one question um, based on that information. Um, and that's it. That's um, experiment um, number five. I already recorded experiment number six, so they'll post and there you have it.